What's going on people and welcome back to Premier League predictions, game week two, a look ahead and my predictions and also for these Premier League predictions this year, I've decided I'm just going to add a little bit more to these videos with recapping on how I did score wise out of the fixtures from every game week. So first game week, 10 games, I got six correct in terms of the overall result, not necessarily the score, but who I picked as a winner. So six out of 10 for game week one, hopefully I can do better game week two, but not too bad of a start. First up, we've got Brighton versus Manchester United. As much as I would love United to win this game, I think coming away from there with a point will be a great result, but I am gonna edge it to Brighton. Um, they look very good in their first game, winning three nil away from home against Everton. Matoma looks sharp, Jal Pedro hit the post. Rutter as well from Leeds, um, a new signing to come in and, and fight for places as well. Um, I wasn't sure what to expect from them this year. I've predicted them to struggle a bit, but they certainly didn't in the first game. Welbeck scoring as well. He'll be up for trying to get a goal against his former club. So I think it's going to be a very tough game, and I think Brighton will beat us, unfortunately. 2-1 Brighton. Crystal Palace versus West Ham. It'll be a close one. I don't think it'll be a ton of goals in this, but I think Palace will edge it with the home team. 1-0. Fulham versus Leicester. Obviously, Leicester getting a fantastic point against Tottenham in the opening game. Vardy back at it again after all these years, still going. And I thought Leicester could have won that game as well. So Fulham are a decent side. They're at home. Be quite a battle this game. Whether or not it'll be close in scoreline, I'm not sure. I'm going to edge it to Fulham. I'm going to go 3-1 Fulham. Manchester City versus Ipswich. Ipswich did have their moments in their first game against Liverpool, but the quality did produce in the end for Liverpool. Um, but I think Ipswich will provide some entertaining games this year. They look quite attacking, but defensively is, is where it's going to be crucial that they do well um, and go into the Etihad had for their second game. I can't see anything other than three points for Man City. 4-0 Man City. Southampton versus Nottingham Forest. Um, I'm going to edge this one to Southampton, but Forest definitely could get the result in that. Um, they're more experienced over the last few years. They might have a little bit more firepower, but I think Southampton at home, first home game of the season, they're going to be wanting to give the fans something. I think Southampton might just do enough. 2-1 Southampton versus Everton. Um, both these teams are going to be desperate for three points uh, after their first games, especially Everton as they didn't get even a point, whereas Spurs got a point. Again, those Tottenham at home, far of a better side than Everton. They might concede, but I think Tottenham will win. I personally think they'll probably get a clean sheet. 2-0 Tottenham. Aston Villa versus Arsenal could be one of the games of the week. Um, I think it might be the best game. Both very attacking, both exciting to watch. There could be a few goals in this, but it might be a cagey affair as well. I'm going to edge it to Arsenal. I don't think it'd be by a lot, though. 1-0 to Arsenal. Bournemouth versus Newcastle. I expect Newcastle to get the three points in this. Bournemouth have just signed with a Nilsson. We're watching him in the in the Champions League in previous years, so it's going to be interesting to see if he can replace Solanke at Bournemouth in that nine position. It's going to be too soon, though, for him to come in and expect Bournemouth to just grab three points against Newcastle. They are at home, but I think Newcastle will have too much quality in the end. I'm going to go Newcastle. 2-1 Newcastle. Wolves versus Chelsea. Jao Felix has just signed a seven-year contract in his return to Chelsea, um, obviously with... Gallagher going to Atletico, that's been confirmed now. So I don't know if it's going to work for Felix after that first stint he had. Chelsea are desperate to get three points though after that opening game against City, who they played pretty well against for the majority of the game, I thought. Um, Wolves obviously losing Kilman, their captain, and Neto to Chelsea as well. Be interesting to see if Neto features in this against his former side. I think he might even grab a goal if he does. I think Chelsea will edge this. Um, I think they've got better quality overall, especially now with Neto leaving Wolves as well. Could be tough, but I expect Chelsea to grind it out. I'm going to go 2-1 to Chelsea. And then lastly for game week two, guys, Liverpool versus Brentford. Brentford looked very good in their opening game. Um, and Buemo looked good. Obviously, Tony's probably going to be leaving, but it's going to give a lot of opportunities to other players. Liverpool looking good in their first game as well. I think this one could have a few goals. Could be very exciting. 2-1 Liverpool. So that is it for Game Week 2 predictions, guys. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe, give it a thumbs up, and I'll catch you guys soon.